Hey Aries, welcome to Turn Hill. Welcome to the place where we turn hill our way to self love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Welcome to your soul path reading from March. Let's get started. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. <coughs> what is it that the Aries collective need to know? All right, now cough now. <coughs> all right. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Cups coming out with the Queen of Cups in reverse. We do have that King of Swords coming out in reverse. Right now, I'm feeling like someone doesn't know what to think when it comes to something that once seemed aligned and is no longer seeming aligned. Oh my God. With the Seven of Swords coming out. Whew, okay. Here's what I'm gathering here. Um, I feel like... Whew. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ultimately, what it feels like is happening. Someone is trying to make a, a something like this work because of their ego. Okay. Um, the ego doesn't want to make them believe that this soulmate potential thing, um, not something that was once a soulmate or felt like it, that they were wrong about it or something like that, okay? They don't wanna believe that someone is doing this to them or, or carrying this energy for them. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, it's throwing them for a loop, it's creating this emotional turbulence. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups coming out um, in a verse in, in, um, in the past energy. It's like, it's closing down, okay? The connection is closing down. It's like, I thought this was it. This person played me or whatever the case is, it's like, I no, they didn't play me. They're not playing me. You know, that's the energy there. So because of somebody trying to hold on out of ego, or pride, or whatever the case is, they, they know they it's time to move on with the Six of Swords. Um, but they know it's time to move on. Like, that's in their conscious awareness. I feel like the signs are clear, okay? I mean, like, the proof is in the pudding. All right, you already see what their behavior is. You've already seen it. Um, this could be you or someone else, okay? They could be feeling this way about you, but someone has already seen enough clear signs to understand like this is not right and I gotta go. Um, but for some reason, it's still holding on to it and it's creating this struggle mode. Um, they're creating this, this whole struggle mode in their mind. It's like someone who is in like two feet water, but they're like splashing and thrashing around and panicking and getting themselves all freaked out thinking that they're drowning. It's like, stand up. It's two feet water, stand up, right? And it's that type of energy here. It's like, why are you making this harder than what it needs to be? You're creating a lot of emotional turbulence within yourself and confusing yourself at this point. And it's like, it's, it's pretty evident that it's time to move on. It's something with this Four of Wands energy. It's, I don't know if it's like we created a happy home to think that this happy home was a lie. You know, whatever the case is, it is messing with someone's ego um, to think that they were being played or whatever. All right. So it, it does create this breakthrough. See, someone has a breakthrough with that Hermit card, but it's like, I don't want to believe it. All right, so someone's putting themselves in denial. I don't think that'll last for too long, though, to be honest, because whatever this part. <clears throat> Whatever this person has seen, they can't unsee it. <clears throat> All right. Why is the Six of Cups here? It's something about the nostalgia here. It's something about the history here. Um... It's causing someone to look back at all the memories like, okay, so when they did that, that was a lie. When they did that, like, they were just playing me this whole time. Like, that's what I'm getting here. Someone is, they're like, no, I can't. That, that can't be the case here. And that's what's causing this back and forth energy with the Two of Pentacles. But with the Temperance card coming through, it is, this could be like a, um, for somebody it could be, it's divine timing. It was supposed to. It was supposed to play out this way. Unfortunately, um, I want to say the the intuition and clarity came through divinely as well, where you started seeing things, behaviors that was already there, um, but for some reason you were blinded to the toxicity of it. 
that's what I'm getting here. So it's pretty much, yeah, Ten of Swords. It's time to close out the cycle now. So they're, the divine is stepping in like, all right, you had your moment. You did what you had to do with this. But it's time to move on. It's time for you to get on to move on to the next grade, move on to the next lesson. This situation has dragged out long enough. But at this point, Will of Fortune coming out in the you're holding yourself back. It's time. We're going to pull the veil up so you can see the situation. We were trying to give you hints. The hints aren't working. Now we're going to make it blurrently obvious. What are you going to do? And it seems as if because someone wasn't following the hints, and because spirit had to step in and be like a bit more in your face with the hints or with the truth, it does seem like it, it is jarring to someone. Someone was um, in this comfort, in this comfort zone. This is interesting. It, the, you know how it's coming through. It's, it's comforting like depression can be comforting. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Not to bring it down to that level, but the reason why I'm saying that is because depression is not, you know, a healthy state to be in, right? Um, there's just not a healthy state to be in, but it, it's something comforting about that. Like, I just don't want to do anything and I'm just going to stand in the covers and I don't care because I'm depressed. I don't care about anything. It's something about that that's freeing, right? So something about this energy, it was toxic, but it was so comforting is what I feel. Um, so someone has to check that now, but we're getting all the signs of needing to walk away. Six of swords with the eight of cups It's time. That's what I'm getting. It's simply time. Um, you had, uh, it's like the, the test. It was like a test, right? But the test has gone on for far too long. And that's why it feels like divine intervention is stepping in like, all right. You weren't supposed to stay here for this long, all right? What's the advice for them? Six of Pentacles. You're not getting what you want from this. That's just what it is. Um, you can, as I'm getting this energy of somebody's trying to fit the pieces, like, no, they are this. They are, they give me exactly what I want. We're, we're on the same level. We, you know, whatever. I'm getting what I need from this. Someone's trying to talk themselves into it. Like, yeah, remember that time in the past when they did this and they said that and yeah, they got, they are it. What are you talking about? Of course they're it, you know? Um, it's like the final hurrah of denial until someone just really succumbs to or surrenders to the truth of the situation. It's tough, but either way, yeah, this is what's coming out, Six of Pentacles. This is your advice here, just recognizing the fact that this person is not giving you what you want and ultimately that is what's happening. Ultimately, yes, it is a little bit of deceptive energy here. This person presented themselves in a way as if they could give you this, that they were on your level and you're realizing that this person played a good game. This person played a game, all right? Um, take that L, good game. You got me this time, that's fine. I'm out, all right? All right, Aries, let's go. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG, Tyron Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. Thank you until we meet again, peace.